I'm a vinyl community, it's Bowser and Mike. Um, I'm just showing you the third volume of well, me the first or the second, depending on which order you <laughs> watch them in or not, um, of November Finds. I've been really busy. I didn't want to put them all in one video because nobody would watch it. Not a 30, 40 minute video of me showing crap. But I was at um, the flea market today and I bought a pile of albums which I've just shown on another video. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. And a load of singles. So I'll start with the 12 inch singles and then I'll show you the 7 inch singles. Hopefully it'll be something you like. Sugar Box. And this is a band I used to like a lot in the 80s, Zen Jericho. Disappeared off the face of the earth. I don't know when they broke up. I've got the first album. Didn't bother with the second. But Zen Jericho, Sugar Box. Very good single. Susie and the Banshees. Peekaboo. Twelve inch single, excellent. Peekaboo. Belinda Carlisle, ex of the Go Go's, and a beautiful woman. I know she's had plastic surgery, she doesn't deny it. She's had a hell of a career. And this is Heaven is a Place on Earth. And it's great. And I don't even hide the fact that I love Belinda Carlisle. Lovely. Now, some, but this isn't virtually a grill. I haven't actively searched for it. But as soon as I saw it, I pounced. Because I love this woman. I love her voice. And it's Carmel. Bad day. It's on London Records and it is great. I'm really glad to see it. I'm really glad we've bought it. In, you can probably go on eBay now and fi buy 500 copies of it, but I never did. And it's worth having in my collection just for the cover. Covers by uh, Serge Clark. And it's fantastic. Great song. Great band. I love her. Jean loves Jezebel. Heartache. Four track EP. Twelve inch. Excellent. Really is. Really, really good. It is. Don't know. Pre goth. Post goth. Don't know. Goth. Pretty things. Eve of Destruction, with I Can't Stop and Going Downhill. Pretty things. Excellent. And the band I'd never heard of, but I bought just because I was there. Boy in the Bubble by Blue Aeroplanes. The Blue Aeroplanes. Don't know what it's like yet. I suppose it's rocked indie. This is one I do know about. Mary Chain. Jesus Mary Chain. Far gone and out. Back with some times and why do you want me? Jesus Mary Chain. Now here's one I'm really glad we've got. Heavenly. Um... Only Love Can Break Your Heart, Back With Filthy, by her, um, son, Saint Etienne. Lovely band. I've got about 10 of their albums on vinyl, and uh, about the same on CD. Lovely pop group, I suppose, for want of a better word. Right.
I bought this on the strength of the, um, the name, the Waikiki's. And it's Waikiki Welcome and Hawaii Tattoo. And I'm presuming it's going to be like Hawaiian guitar. And when I play it, if it isn't, I'll be really upset. <laughs> as much as a 50 pence out single can be. Single's in excellent condition. It's not in the correct uh, company label, uh, company cover, but what the hell. Pie International, it's in the VGA um, cover, but it's, I look forward to hearing it, seeing if it's what I think it is. This one, Philips again on the, Colum <laughs> on the wrong uh, company label, nice Columbia um, cover, but it's Teenage Tears and Sea of Love by Marty Wilde. Who doesn't like a bit of croony rock and roll? See, like I do. Human League. Um, seconds and Don't You Want Me. A bit of a battered, layer, uh, battered cover, but what the hell? 50 pence. I wasn't going to leave it there. This one. The Mudlarks. Waterloo and Mary. Um, 1959. I'm presuming it's going to be like rock and roll. If it isn't, well, I'll go and check it out after this video. This one is battered, but it plays, apparently. Um, ABC Paramount. Promotion copy, not for sale. The Jumpin' Jacks. Tried and tested. And My Girl, My Girl. Worth getting. Now this one I have played. Um, Biff Bang Pow. And it's on the Creation label. It's very mod, mod sounding. Legend. Arrogant Bastards and Destroy the Legend Destroy the Blues. These are very sort of childish punks on the creation label. A bit like um, Where's Bill Grundy Now and stuff by the TV personalities. But it's worth having for the because it's on a creation label. And again, the legend um, 73 and 83. And you, Chunga Chunga, were glamorous. Again, on the uh, creation label. Punky trivia. Punky non trivia. Something better change. By the Stranglers, backed by Straight Note, two of the Stranglers' greatest songs. Glad to have that back in my collection. And No More Heroes and In the Shadows, two great songs by the Stranglers. I don't think Hugh Cornwell's version of the Stranglers had a bad single, but they're two of the best. ETV. How much longer? And you bastard. Mark Perry from uh, Sniffing Glue. Band, excellent. Should have been better than bigger than they were. But I'm glad I've got that in my collection again. What do I get? Those cooks. Excellent. What do I get? And oh shit. Another one back in my collection.
Another one back in my collection. Pretty vagrant. Sex Pistols. Long overdue. Creation Records. The Jasmine Minx. Where the Traffic Goes. Sort of pop indie. I would call them. Um, yeah, very good. Um, pop indie. And this one I got today with my electronic magazine, uh, music magazine, and I haven't played it yet. It is a uh, WRF and Yalla Booth and Milky Pond. But it's not even warmed yet, so I don't know. Probably be great or not. <laughs> So there you go, that's three vinyl, um, what I've been buying lately. In over, it was only the 11th of November, for God's sake. I don't know if I'll be buying much more or whatever. I did get Pills uh, Metal Box, finally, again. And it's an excellent nick. Obviously the tin's a bit rust, not rusty, a bit you know, tarnished. Um, but the vinyl's mint. And my wife actually bought it as a, as a present for Christmas because she didn't know what to get us. And I said, buy that. And I actually pointed it to the one to buy and she paid for it. But as soon as it came, she made us check that it was all right and just put it away for Santa. So I won't get that till Christmas, but it's only a month. Um, I'm glad to have that back in my collection and no doubt... I'll show you it in my New Year finds or my December finds when it gets done. But thanks for watching if you did. And hopefully there was something there that you think, ooh, or something you didn't like or something you can comment on. So thanks very much for watching.